The situation on Guadalcanal has gotten rather precarious. The Japanese have unloaded a large amount of troops and supply on the island. Efforts will be made to reinforce the island immediately and regain the initiative. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our War on the Sea series playing as the United States. It is currently August 18th, 1942, and we are getting ready to make a supply run to Guadalcanal. Task Force 11 here is loaded up with uh, troops and a whole lot of supply just to make sure, um, because the Japanese did land here, and uh, the balance of power is a little too even for my liking. I did fly over the Japanese task force, which was most likely responsible for landing these troops, and they only had three freighters in it. That makes me think that there's not a whole lot of supply on the island, so we're probably going to burn through these troops rather quickly, but I would rather be safe than sorry. Um, our supply situation on Rental Island is looking a little meager. We only have 100 fuel, 400 engineering, that's not bad or anything. But troops and supply is low, like 950 and 710, that's that's rough. Uh, and same with the New Hebrides, <laughs> we have no troops on the island. Um, supply, fuel is okay, I guess. Um, but it looks like we're going to have to start taking most of our supply from Australia here, where we have 6,000 troops and 5,000 supply. So once this task force here makes its run to Guadalcanal, they are going to head back to Australia to load on more troops and supply. I have our tanker here, which is heading back to the New Hebrides. I'll probably make a small convoy with our tanker just to bring engineering and fuel to Rental Island. So that way we can quickly transfer it to Guadalcanal once the island is secured. I don't want to bring these guys back and just release them, uh, which I, I could do, but... Uh, we don't get the full command point cost back, unfortunately, so we would be wasting command points in that uh, situation uh, on the difficulty I am playing on. A float plane flew over this, four destroyers, two light cruisers, three heavy cruisers, very cool. These guys are heading back home. We have quite a bit of damage and we need ammunition. I have decided it is time to be a little more aggressive at this point. Um, we are doing fairly well. We have not lost very many ships. We've only lost destroyers. Okay. Yeah, compared to the enemy losses, I mean, we're doing very well. So we're going to be a little more aggressive. It's obvious the Japanese are forming up to the north of Guadalcanal. So that is where we are going to go, and hopefully we'll catch that carrier at night or something crazy like that. And that would, uh, that would definitely, you know, be nice and make the situation a little easier, because these these runs to Guadalcanal are super dangerous because of the air cover uh, that may or may not be there. I haven't seen the carrier in a while. Um, I'm not sure if she is still up here. It's like every time we whittle down their air wing and they probably have to go back home. Anyway, that is the current situation. I've been contemplating landing here as well. Um, that may happen, actually. We'll see, though. Anyway, that's the current situation. I will let you know what happens. Uh, this task force, this convoy, is going to head out here, so that way they're in a pretty good position to make the run at night. Well, speaking of bombers, uh, it looks like, or carrier-based aircraft, we have a flight of, it looks like, VALs, possibly, over Task Force 3. Let's get in a circle formation. Who is in the middle? Number one. So we want Chester in the middle, of course, as she is definitely the most valuable. Uh, swap positions, that's what I want. There we go, Chester will be in the middle, 500 yards apart. Let's begin. It could just be a float plane, fire at will, turn on your radars. Okay, start. What do we got? Yep, aircraft. This isn't good. Alright, Chester is leading it. Let's, uh, let's bring the speed up a little bit. And uh, everyone is firing at will. It looks like Hull is already engaging the enemy aircraft. Yep, there they are. Vals for sure. All right, everyone's opening up. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. There's only four of them though, which is interesting. I would expect more. All right, we're going to have to get ready to break and begin evasive maneuvers here. Okay, everyone who I think they're going to engage. 
All right, destroyers hold formation for a little bit. All right, start speeding up. Hole looks like she's definitely in danger. Same with Farragut. But I think Hole may be the target. Or they may be smart and actually go for Chester. Oh, nope. They're going for Hole. All right. Hard to starboard. Come on. Got one. They're hard to port, excuse me. Oh boy, dodged them. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we have this other one going in on Chester. Dropped a bomb. Come on, be a dud. Nope, was not a dud, but did not look critical whatsoever. Direct hit, damage control. All right, damage number two turret. ships I start turning north all right we shot down what two of them I would hope kind of hoped we'd get more hmm that's okay damage is extremely minimal Chester was hit by just one probably rather small bomb all right good work fellas can go ahead and retreat. Well, that was some... That was exciting. Yeah, no significant damage. Okay, let's see what else happens. See if there's more follow-up strikes. Okay, we have more aircraft over Task Force 3 here. Let's begin. It's raining, too. Yeah, this is what we get for sailing up here during the day, but... It's, uh... It's actually okay if, by me if we whittle down their air wing. Let's give some time compression. Give them a chance here. See if they can even find us in this rain. Okay, time compression stopped. Sure, it's not a sub. Nope, here they come. Wow, very close. Guessing zeros. Yep, with bombs. Flying right over the formation. I guess they're going to level bomb it. Yeah. Let's see how accurate that is. All right, we're tearing. Wow, look at all these zeros. There's multiple formations out there. Come on, let's shoot some of them down, please. Oh my, I can't. That is insane. It's not, uh, not good. Zeros are just flying around now, dropping their tiny little bombs willy-nilly. I don't think we've shot a single one down yet. Okay, Chester was hit. She's okay. She can take a punch. Yeah, just a whole lot of zeros. Do these zeros still have their bombs? No, they do not. They're flying overhead, though. Thankfully, they don't carry very la large bombs. What, they're just 50 kilogram bombs? Something pretty minimal. It's not going to do a whole lot. Just annoying. I'm impressed how poor our anti-aircraft gunners have been performing. Normally we tear them up when they do stuff like this. That's okay. All right, Warden, go ahead and turn around. She's the one that got hit the most. Nothing too horrible. Let's see if they try strafing us. Part of me wants to see them try. We'll do some time compressions here and see what goes on. Have another zero coming in. Twelve o'clock. Wonder, are they spiraling down? What? What's the? What's the game plan here? I may just uh, finish the mission if they're just going to keep on flying overhead. Seems kind of gamey. Like, what, what are they doing? Wasting our ammunition. That's what they're doing. All right, let's go ahead and retreat. 
okay, moderate damage. Yep, nothing crazy. All right, let's see what else happens here. Dive bombers. Turn on our radar. Get ready for this. Yep, got a, just two, that's it. Anything behind them? Wow, that's actually, that's good news. That means there is very little left. All right, let's begin braking and start turning and start moving quickly. See what they end up going for here. They try to hit Chester. Okay, engaging. All right, already damaged one. Come on, get him. Yep, they're going for Chester. All right, another one's smoking. Come on, shoot him down. Oh my gosh. Okay, their bombs are away. Wow. Talk about luck, and we got both of them. Fantastic. If they're only sending two vowels after us, their air wing has to be like non-existent. They just have zeros. That I'm pretty confident in pushing up here then. Um, awesome. Let's find that carrier. Uh, this task force is still moving back though. We'll see if we can uh, rearm them and get them up here as quickly as possible. Our task force here has made it back to the New Hebrides. Quincy is pretty heavily damaged. We are going to release her, send her in for repair. Louisville's okay. One dam yeah, just a funnel's damaged on Sydney. We're gonna keep her. This destroyer, you gotta go. Okay, everything else is okay. Um, everyone needs to be rearmed. Okay, all ships rearmed. Um. We got 74 points here. Hmm. What can we get? New C. Heavy cruisers. I mean, we could get a lot of heavy cruisers. North Carolina. South Dakota. Both 80 points. Oh, I guess there's the, uh, the battleships that were added. Um, with the earlier versions of Tokyo Express may be gone now. I wonder if, I guess they were removed. I did update my Tokyo Express uh, version here. Are the, uh... oh, it looks like the Japanese ones were removed as well. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, we have 74 points. I'm, I'm gonna just go with cruisers, guys. I know that may be extremely disappointing for a lot of you folks, but I'd rather have, I'd rather have the firepower. All right, Sanon, Fran, let's get it. Okay. can get quite a few of them. May get a light cruiser as well. Chicago. Get in here. Augusta, Pensacola. All right, 44 points. 66 points. All right, let's see. Are there... Maybe I should have gotten a Wichita. It would be kind of fun. Only one. All right, 70 points here. Done. All right, and then we will merge these guys. I mean, this is a this is a heavy hitting task force here. I mean, that's a lot of firepower. Uh, we'll get a we'll get a battleship eventually for sure. Um, our escort screen is a little light though. I'll probably siphon off a couple of destroyers from this task force up here. Yeah, I'll do that. That that should work just fine for us. We are going to send these guys up north to look for trouble. Look for trouble. Uh, this task force is getting pretty close, and let me make sure. Yep, still named Task Force One. Perfect. Um, these guys are getting close to unloading on Guadalcanal. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? Wow, they landed again. 
Wow. I was not expecting that at all. All right, well, we'll see how the balance of power is once we land. That is that is concerning. And, you know, thank gosh that AI is finally doing this. This certainly uh, spices things up a little bit. We're going to have to actually start fighting more. All right, we'll see how the balance of power looks when we unload. Well, here we go. We have some spice. Uh, Task Force 3 has been intercepted by seven destroyers. Uh, let's get into a good formation. Uh, just line ahead should be sufficient. Who is in the lead, number one? Wait, do we want Chester in the lead? No, we don't. Uh, swap her out with number six. Here we go. That's the right button to do that. Um, okay, that should be fine. Uh, 750 yards apart. Seven destroyers. Uh, the problem is the torpedoes that are going to be sent our way. Task Force 11 is almost here to uh, resupply, but she can't just yet. All right, let's begin. Let's get some command points, shall we? Uh, this is actually probably going to be pretty, pretty brutal, if we're being completely honest with ourselves. Let's uh, turn off auto gunnery. Wow, look at this. Okay, start turning. Everyone target target number one as that one is the closest yeah we, we even want Chester targeting her okay Farragut begin a firing with star shells fire with star shells oh my gosh no ammo in the rear gun unfortunately okay now fire with HE fire with HE And fire with HE. Same with your secondaries. Light it up. They are already lobbing torpedoes into the water. That is not good at all. Uh, let's identify this target. These torpedoes are going to be devastating. These enemy torpedoes here. I probably already passed our destroyer, buddy. That's her. All right, it's time to really start pouring on the coals here. Start moving. Poor Chester here. I can't see anything out there. Okay, I'm gonna need you to break, Chester. You need to start moving. She is obviously the most valuable thing here. And uh, I'd rather not get hit by all those torpedoes in the water. And I'm assuming if this one launched, uh, they all probably did. I think that's a safe thing to assume here. Um, looks like we have a pretty good mixture of... Uh, oh, it looks like only a couple of destroyers are actually modern. Okay, switch to high explosive. Okay, hopefully we can get some like devastating hits right off the bat here. Torpedo situation. We do have torpedoes we can fire. Manual fire, four of them. So seven degree spread let's send them right this way all right starting to already get some hits here all right Farragut should start launching okay torpedoes are away I'm not a big fan of wasting all of our torpedoes on a bunch of destroyers but if things start getting super hairy we will do it how's it going Chester how are things looking here I mean, this destroyer is already on fire. Is she deploying smoke or is she on fire? I cannot, I cannot tell if I'm being completely honest with you folks. But I mean, she is being bracketed quite a lot. It would be nice to sink at least a couple of these. Looks like the entire Japanese formation is turning away and she is laying smoke here. Uh, don't want to fight? I mean, with our heavy cruiser, I'm feeling pretty confident <laughs> about such a fight. Uh, we just need to keep our eyes peeled for enemy torpedoes. Chester's got torpedoes in the water. Let's see. Uh, she may eat one right in the bow. 
Oh my gosh, she just lucked out. Holy cow. Okay, good work, good stuff. All right, turn back. That was terrifying. We are still engaging this destroyer with Chester. However, multiple destroyers have transitioned to engaging this uh, Mitsuki here. Um, honestly, I may transfer main fire with Chester onto her. I mean, she is close enough. We could start just obliterating that poor thing. Uh, I think this destroyer has quite a bit of damage, though. Let's look at the report. Yeah, heavy damage, heavy flooding. We'll keep targeting her for just a little bit. Maybe get that to critical. Maybe she'll sink. Um, Farragut is engaging. Actually, yeah, no. Okay, Farragut is still engaging her. Chester's going to switch. Chester's going to switch. Begin firing at her. And fire... Fire high explosive. At her and turn... Kind of turn to bring all guns to bear on her. These torpedoes look okay. We'll see if we get anything with it. Um, of course, you can see our destroyers are swinging back around to continue the fight. Uh, we'll keep our eyes peeled for any more torpedoes in the water. That was extremely freaking close. <laughs> okay, things are going well. The Mitsuki is going down. Chester absolutely obliterated her. She is now engaging this kamikaze, which uh, may eat some torpedoes here in a second. We're still trying to sink this destroyer as well. However, we're gonna start uh, we're gonna start swinging in here and try to cut them off a little bit. Um, let's see how these torpedoes do. We'll uh, squeak out a lucky hit here. I have a feeling she's moving too quick, unfortunately, to uh, take a fish. But uh, maybe number five back here will eat a uh, eat a torpedo. I have to say, these uh, manual torpedo spreads have been working much, much better for us than the uh, auto ones. Oh man, that's so close, but I think she's just going to squeak out here. Oh, yeah, just went <laughs> right after her. Well, number five, uh, things are looking a little rough here. Like I said, Chester's engaging her, so uh, maybe we'll get something here. Uh, this, uh, this looks like it could hurt. We'll see if she'll squeak through here, though. It would be great to get a torpedo hit here. There we go. Oh my gosh, just went right in front of her. Very lucky. Very lucky destroyers. It is hard to torpedo destroyers. That's kind of why I'm not uh, too fond of sending even more out here. How are things going up here? Man, I'm surprised we still haven't got any, uh, any serious hits on her been engaging this ship for a while. Let's see the report real quick. Heavy damage, minor flooding. Oh, there's a hit right in the bridge, but uh, we'll probably start transitioning to some of these older destroyers. They are just easier to sink, uh, plain and simple. Number three is running, running like crazy. All right. Well, so far so good. Minimal damage to our ships. Just a brief update on the situation. We lost contact of the Akazuki we were primarily engaging. However, if we look at the report, her damage is critical. Flooding is heavy. There's a good chance she will go down. Number seven here has heavy flooding and heavy damage, which we are currently targeting as well. Uh, Chester, unfortunately, is lagging pretty far behind. She is quite slow. She was damaged um, a few battles ago. Um, but I think we'll be able to cut these guys off and at least grab another destroyer here at the very least. Unfortunately, our destroyers, they've been firing like crazy and uh, they're starting to run a bit low on ammo. These battles do just burn through ammunition uh, extremely quickly. Just uh, how low the solutions are due to how dark it is. What the hell happened to Farragut? What was she just hit by? Okay, it looks like she was hit, but it wasn't a torpedo or anything nuts. She's okay, though. She'll be able to recover from that. Okay. Well, we'll keep engaging here. Well, here we have it. It's finally going down at long last. <laughs> it took a lot of ammunition. Let's go ahead and leave uh, the battle. Uh, we left one destroyer in critical condition. 
One was completely destroyed, and uh, one was sunk. Two were sunk altogether. Uh, four command points gained. Uh, it doesn't really seem like it was worth it. We expended just so much ammo. That's the that's the problem. I probably should have disengaged, but um, I definitely wanted to secure that final kill instead of letting it go uh, to waste. Okay, Task Force 11's almost here. Let's unload this supply and uh, see how Guadalcanal looks. Alrighty, folks, the supply has been unloaded onto Guadalcanal. We have 7,000 troops there, and uh, the balance of power is uh, not as good as I would like, to be honest. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a tough fight still. This series is probably going to go on for a while. Um, I, I was kind of hoping we'd have Guadalcanal secured in the next couple of episodes, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. We are set back here. I, I, I may try to land on one of these islands as well and build an airbase there just to have some air cover over the area. Of course, a carrier would be nice, but uh, like being able to afford a carrier is just so darn difficult. I feel like we need everything at this point, but we will make do. Anyway, that's all for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.